Um, so my Catholic journey partly involved um, <clears throat> as a young child just being turned off and bored by Catholicism. Um, I found it um, vaguely interesting to be part of something a very uh, something of a very orderly ritual, um, but that wasn't enough to hold my attention. And and so our family uh, became more drawn to the sort of relevant hype uh, smoke machines and. Um, jumbotrons that you find at um, mega churches like Willow Creek. And eventually I found that even though I was very much drawn to the sincerity and um, devotion to learning and studying the Bible among evangelicals, it was an enormous um, heartache to me to find that a massive portion of evangelicals um, supported the invasion of Iraq in 2003. It was like a um, shock to my system to find that people that had incessantly insisted that we must take Jesus's commands so seriously um, became um, immediately capable of resorting to just mindless vengeance following the September 11th attacks. So with that, I found my attachment to evangelicalism sort of complexified or loosened. So I found myself um, visiting all sorts of different um, communities, whether they were Quaker or Mennonite or Episcopalian, um, feeling that there was something about uh, the evangelicalism that I knew, which was so um, wedded with um, the Republican Party that um, it just became a um, a way for me to go out and explore different um, communions. The Catholic Church never occurred to me as a place to return to. I felt like it was, you know, just like any other church communion, sort of half dead. And um, it was at that time that I met um, this priest, Michael Doyle, who had been exiled to Camden on behalf of or, or because of his Vietnam protests that um, he described a city struggling um, through poverty and violence and environmental racism. And um, I said, wow, that sounds like an awful place. Um, do you need any help? And can I move in and um, join you all in your work? And so um, he said yes. And, and um, we walked through an abandoned house uh, right near his church. And it was just full of like, crack bags and um, feces and just dirty clothes all over the floor. It was like the streets had littered inside this house. And I thought, um, this seems perfect. I'll take it. So um, I moved in with a community of people to join this small Catholic church in the middle of Camden. But it was out of no particular love for, uh, for the Catholic church. But as I was there, I came to find that doing liturgy in the middle of an urban apocalypse, doing liturgy in the middle of what felt like um, a sort of hopeless and even godless um, situation of murder and poverty. The liturgy takes on a totally different um, meaning and feeling to it there. And so it was um, through this church, um, Sacred Heart down in Camden, that I began to fall in love with the Catholic Church. And it was there that I also learned this sense of, you know, there are awful places in our world, um, awful places that need not our judgment or our scorn, but they need our help. Um, and in similar ways, I began to feel that about the Catholic Church, that there, there is something about the, the community that Jesus created, that it's like a dysfunctional, an awful family, but it's still a family. It's like this community that Jesus wanted to create of unconditional love. And that requires um, building into it and loving it. And so um, I learned the lessons of kind of unconditional love by living in a, both in a city that feels awful and becoming part of a church that also some days feels really awful.